In just a few minutes, the candidates for Congress in District 17 will be taking the stage to talk about the issues that matter to voters right here. We're just waiting for them to get started, and we'll be bringing you live coverage on MiamiHerald.com. Stay tuned. While there were those who gave up and drove off without casting their vote, others were more persistent. What I'm about to do now is try to find out where the voter place is because I plan to vote today no matter what. Turns out the polling location was actually across the lot. But what's causing the confusion? I place signs and arrows directing them where to go, but there's some of the candidate signs that are still sticking in the ground, which is against the library rules, and they haven't removed them. And I haven't been voting for... 50 years, I'm 90 years old, and I have never missed a year of voting. Eventually, he was able to vote. My parents could not vote, but I can. I'm not going to pass it up. First London, then Beverly Hills, New York, and most recently, Miami. Mr. Chow is known as a place to see and be seen. And for the first year, they're participating in Miami Spice. So, Chef Dewey, the Forge has its very own library. Yes, it does. I mean, uh, Mitchell Kaplan and Shreve, we did all the amazing books here. Uh, the library is like the ultimate living space, we think. You have a, a fireplace, you have your lounge here with the uh, couch, and it's just a comfortable area to read a book, have dinner, have a snack, have a great glass of wine, or a great cocktail. We have an amazing uh, bartender, uh, Andreas is our mixologist, does amazing drinks. So it's a perfect place for a cocktail. You have over 80 wines by the glass. Um, it's a bar that you could really be comfortable in eating, drinking, you know, uh, Wi-Fi accessible, of course. This is a new addition, to Wine by the Glass. Mm -hmm. How does it work? I see some iPod touches right here. Tell me a little bit about that. What's fun is it's a self-serve system. You get this beautiful black uh, Forge card. You put whatever amount of uh, do dollar amount you want on there. You go up, you insert the card, and you can have a one, a three, or a five ounce pour. If you want, there's also a Forge application right here. Uh, a Forge Wine app, you can Twitter yourself, Facebook, and you can have a virtual little um, notepad that you can keep and also you send to your own email account. So of you can keep track of what keep you track. tried. Okay. What you like, what you didn't like, what food went with what. what. The People Pages Gabby Gonzalez stopped by to check it all out. From a billiard room overlooking the main dining area to balconies that take in the entire restaurant, STK gives diners eye candy wherever they turn. This is not your average steakhouse. Besides the ultra chic table setup and a bar that literally glistens, STK includes a lounge area perfect for a post dinner cocktail and, yes, even some dancing. This is STK at the Gansevoort Miami Beach. This is the first year they'll be participating in Miami Spice. We're going to head into the kitchen now and meet with Chef Albert to see what he has in store for the month. That's a really nice dish you're going to get at Miami Spice uh, here in STK. I just tried the short ribs and the carrot gray, and I gotta say, you have to come try it here at the Gansevoort Miami Beach. The crews here are putting the final touches on Sun Life Stadium before tonight's big game, UM versus Florida A&M. But with so much talk before the season even started, the big question in all the fans' minds is, how is the team going to do on the field? Why do you like the Canes? Because they're awesome. Hey guys, I'm Gabby Gonzalez for the People page with your entertainment scoop for the week. So you know those three guys everyone's talking about? The ones that happen to be ridiculously tall and really good at basketball? Yep, there's LeBron, Wade, and Bosch looking pretty dapper in their suits. The People page show was backstage at the AAA for their big welcome home party. I want to come to the America Airlines Arena so everybody should get some seats now just to be in there because it's going to be very hard. You know, once October um, to June coming, you know, people want to come and watch the heat. It's going to be hard to get tickets. Un sábado típico, jóvenes ocupados con lo que muchos llaman el pasatiempo americano de béisbol. Pero en este parque se le agrega el sabor latino. Y en este juego las tradiciones del pasado y los sueños del futuro pasan de generación a generación. ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas noches. Soy Gabriela González en la redacción de Nuevo Herald. Ante las revelaciones de que los Marlins tenían ganancias y bastante ganancias. Toda mi vida desde que yo tenía eh, uso de razón de mi juventud y de trabajo vendiendo mercadería. Que aquí tratamos de ganar bien poquito. 
bien poquito, lo que le ponemos un margen de ganancia a la mercadería bien bajo para tratar de tener clientela y permanecer con la clientela, que no se nos vaya. Y también que me mandan de Honduras, saco préstamos en mi país para poder sobrevivir aquí. Porque tengo propiedades allá y saco sobre de mis propiedades que me dejó mi madre. Y, y tratando de sobrevivir aquí, porque de verdad que está bien malo. Soon-to-be mom Paulina Rubio partnered up with her own mother to ask the public one question. Got milk? Her message? On the balance to have a diet and a healthy diet and do exercise and all that. She told us about her favorite milk pairings. Milk and cookies, milk and brownies, milk and uh, everything. Yeah. Milkshakes. Mm. Yeah. But her choice has changed a bit in recent months. Now that I'm pregnant, it's regular milk, but usually um, on um, low fat. Low fat. Ventured to the Ritz Carlton to chat with hot British import Idris Elba. He gave us the inside scoop on his new movie, Takers. We're takers, gents. That's what we do for a living. We take the heist film, you know, there's lots of actors in it that uh, I enjoy and Jay Hernandez and Matt Dillon, Paul Walker, Hayden Christensen, T.I., Chris Brown, Michael Ely, there's a big cast so we had a good time making it. In the movie, he plays a gun-toting, suit-wearing criminal and shows off his natural English accent.